Hi folks, hope you're all doing fine. I am just putting this video out to say I am back to doing rugby videos for November. Uh, I know I've gone a bit political with my channel in recent times, but I want to do some rugby videos again. I'm going to mix it up a bit between uh, rugby and politics uh, for the foreseeable future, I think. But on the whole, I am looking forward to the Autumn Internationals really kicking off now. I did see uh, the games last week, uh, Scotland against Tonga and... Um, Wales against New Zealand. I didn't do reactions to them because I, you know, I just kind of, like, they were both big score lines. I felt like I couldn't really break the games down properly. I think uh, with Scotland, it was good to see we're showing we've got some uh, decent depth. Uh, did very well against Tonga, especially uh, our wingers Rufus McLean uh, looks like a really bright prospect. And uh, Kyle Steen getting four tries. Uh, Kyle Steen, of course, on the bench for... Uh, the game against Australia on Sunday. Um, Wales against New Zealand. I thought, actually, Wales weren't that bad in the first half of that game. Um, but New Zealand just really ran away with it in the second half. I think fitness played a slight factor as well. Uh, Wade Pivak, I know, said that in his uh, post-match press conference. And Bowden Barrett, even though two of his tries were interception tries, ran the show at 10 for New Zealand. He had an excellent game. And uh, obviously with Alamon Jones' shoulder injury that he picked up, uh, it looks like it's finally taken its toll. Obviously the Lions series, it was a miracle he was able to get back to full fitness in time for the test there. And then um, obviously he played, for this, played um, last week and the shoulder just took its toll again. And it doesn't look like he's going to be available for the rest of the international season. So um, send my um, regards to him and wish him um, a wish him well in his recovery. Um, but um, the games this weekend, uh, main ones to talk about, the England-Tonga game is still pending after Owen Farrell had a positive COVID test and there is, um, they're still waiting for the rest of the England team to get their COVID test back to know whether the game will be going ahead or not. Uh, we've also got Ireland-Japan and uh, Wales against South Africa. Now, Wales-South Africa, I think Wales will be uh, better than they were against New Zealand last week, but do they have it in them to uh, take on the big Springbok pack over 80 minutes? Um, and do they have the ability to execute the game plan that they're trying to impose under Pivak? It was clear last week they were trying to go a bit more expansive, but in execution it didn't work as well as um, it could have done, and they certainly weren't as clinical as they needed to be. But I think this weekend... Um, yeah, it's a lot of question is if Wales can just be can be accurate when they're um, throwing the ball wide and moving uh, the big Springbok pack about. But obviously, if South Africa uh, take it to them up front um, are smart with their kicking game and accurate with their kicking game, I think South Africa will will win this one. But um, yeah, uh, yeah, I think um, I think uh, Wales will we will see a better Wales, but I just think South Africa will have a bit too much for them. And of course, the game on Sunday, Scotland against Australia. Um, I think we're going into into the game uh, fairly confident. I think we've got a lot to. Um, pardon me. Um, I think um, after the game against Tonga and obviously um, a fair chunk of our uh, lads being on the Lions tour, um, I think will be good for them. Ali Price certainly. Uh, Who would have uh, said that if you um, like uh, before the Lions tour that he was going to be the uh, Lions number one scrum half on that tour and. Uh, he looks like he's come on leaps and bounds as a player. He definitely deserved to be the first choice nine um, when he started in the first and the third test. Um, and he was he was excellent. Finn Russell as well. Um, I think um, you know he really uh, brought the lines to light when he came on this in the in that third test. But on the whole, I think um, you know sort of it's going to do them their confidence good. I thought Ali Price um, looked good um, last week when he uh, he was obviously co captain and the scrum half and. I'm hoping that his uh, speed of passing and his ability just to whip the ball away at the breakdown more consistently is what we're seeing. Um, and obviously up front, I think, is going to be an interesting battle. I think we actually have over the edge of the Aussies um, on paper. Um, and especially, um, I think, the, the back row battle is going to be uh, very, very interesting. Uh, Jamie Ritchie looks like still he's coming on leaps and bounds as a player. And obviously having uh, Mish back at seven will help as well. Um, up against, um, namely, uh, Michael Hooper. So that's going to be um, a really tough battle, but one we can definitely win. And if we can get it right up front, um, we've certainly got the backs capable of breaking uh, the Aussies down. Uh, the the Aussies, obviously, uh, being coached by Dave Rennie, um, ex-Glasgow Warriors coach, of course, but 
they definitely look like they've been improving in recent times. Uh, the rugby championship, they did finish second. Uh, they did they did very well in it. Obviously, um, New Zealand finished above them, but I think um, we showed that Dave Rennie is starting to get his um, ideas across into the Australian team. Um, they're looking like they're uh, looking a lot better, um, a lot a lot more together than they were um, last year. Well, when they got together last year, of course, because of COVID. But I think. Um, you know, um, it's interesting they've gone for uh, James O'Connor at 10. Um, it was mainly Quay Cooper that played at 10 in the Rugby Championship. Um, and they've gone for uh, James O'Connor there. So that'll be uh, something um, interesting to see. I think Scotland actually have a very good chance. And I think we could win this one. Um, I really do. I really believe we, we've got a, a chance. And I think, um, you know, I'm hoping our lives and Lions Tour, like I said, they've taken that experience and they're, and they're going to grow as players. Because I think we could be in for... A very good season. Uh, fingers crossed. Anyway, that's my thoughts there, guys. I'm looking forward to doing some rugby videos. Also to note that I, at the moment, it's looking likely I will be on uh, Brandon Smith's channel. Again, BS Rugby, to do a live watch along of Scotland versus Australia on Sunday. So I'm looking forward to that. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll catch you later on.